easy actually. In the beginning it was kind of tough to gain the trust from the bodybuilders because I you know, don't come from the bodybuilding world of course, I come from the film world and in the beginning it was very tough um, because you know, in the previous years there were various people who approached the bodybuilding community to make a film like this one or similar to that film but it just didn't resonate with the bodybuilders or with the, you know, with the bodybuilding league or even with the fans I think. So to gain the trust I had to do a lot of explaining what the vision was. Uh, what really helped was really spending time with them and making sure that they understand you know, my vision uh, for this film. Uh, and also of course spending time with the you know, people that uh, actually you know, run the bodybuilding, uh, the bodybuilding league, the IBB Pro League, you know, Jim Mannion of course, uh, Robin Chang and so on and so forth, you know, people that organize the Olympia, uh, the judges, you know, stuff like that. But um, the most important thing was to really spend time with the bodybuilders and explain to them what I really envisioned for this film to be. Pumping Iron is a, is a legendary film. Uh, when we started making Generation Iron, we knew that uh, you know, it has to be a different type of film because, in a way, Pumping Iron introduced bodybuilding to the world, and Generation Iron needs to be um, needs to go a little bit deeper. Um, and in a way, Generation Iron is a film about bodybuilding, but most importantly, it's a film about bodybuilders. So, uh, the characters are really the most important thing in the film. Bodybuilding is, is of course, physical. It takes a lot of physical effort, but also a lot of mental effort, so I really wanted to understand what this is all about, so uh, the films that inspire me, and, you know, it's, it's, it's art in general, you know, for me bodybuilding is uh, is really an art form, I think a lot of people just confuse bodybuilding what it really is, it's definitely a lifestyle, it's, it's, a, it's an art form, it's artistic expression, and it's also a sport, so uh, that really motivated me the most uh, when creating this film, uh, nothing really specifically when it comes to um, other films, you know, is, is I really wanted to make it very unique. Uh, well, I really want the audience to learn what is bodybuilding and who are these people that you know dedicate their lives to this to this uh, art form sport, you know, and what really what is bodybuilding all about, you know? Um, I think. Um, when you talk to a regular person that know, knows nothing about professional bodybuilding, what is bodybuilding, there's a lot of uh, misunderstandings really. Uh, nobody really knows who are these bodybuilders. Um, I think uh, there's a lot of confusion and there's also a lot of judgments happening when people don't really know anything about it. You know? So in this film I really wanted to address everything that we can possibly address about bodybuilding. Of course, um, <laughs> we um, had full access, full behind-the-scenes access of of every part of the, you know, uh, Olympia backstage, front stage, side stage, uh, every every angle you could possibly imagine we had. And backstage, the pump-up room is actually where most of the drama really happens. That's where you can really feel anticipation, you know, before the athletes go on stage. So that 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 was the most important probably part for us to film. That is a very difficult question to answer, really, because um, the, all the bodybuilders that we have in the film that we follow are very, very dynamic characters. They are very, very different, and uh, to pick the favorite one is it's, it's just impossible. Uh, what was really interesting for me to see the kind of like the change between them, you know, the drastic change, because they're very different people. So, for instance, you film with Kai Green in, in New York for for a few weeks. So, you know, and you see kind of one dynamic, you spend some time with him and you see like, wow, that's an amazing character, so interesting. And then suddenly you go to uh, Tampa, Florida, and you spend a week with Ben Pekulski, you know what I mean? And it's a whole different person uh, with, you know, different uh, mindset, you know, different type of uh, scenario that he lives in. Even, even the whole, uh, you know, uh, scenery is different, of course. You go from one extreme to the other, you know. And then you go to Denver, you film with Phil, and then so on and so forth. You know, so they're all very different. Uh, but what's really 
what's really funny is when we first started making the film, I was told that, you know, why are you making a film about these bodybuilders? Um, you know, they're not that interesting. Uh, back in the day, you had Arnold, Lou Ferrigno, those guys were exciting, fun, you know, fun to watch. They were real characters. So um, before making the film, you know, I spent some time with the new guys that we have in the film, the new generation. And um, I definitely realized that they are very dynamic characters. So it was, I had a lot of fun with, you know, with everyone, single one of them. It was a great experience uh, making this film. I learned that uh, I'm uh, way, way behind them <laughs> after the training. Uh, you know, I was definitely, uh, I didn't want to get in their way in the gym. I was trying to stay away while, while we were filming them because it gets pretty intense. If you spend a time with somebody like Kai Green or Branch Moore in the gym, you know, it's just, they are um, force <laughs> in the gym, you know, and I just didn't want to get in their way to, uh, to trip them up with something, you know, I didn't want to ruin anything. <laughs> But um, the way these guys train is um, is incredible. You know, it's incredible. They all have very different styles of training, and uh, I really wanted to highlight it in the film as well. So, for instance, you know, you have Phil Heath, which is complete trains completely different from uh, from Branch Warren, and then you have Ben Pakalski, trains completely different from both of them, and, and so on and so forth. You know, so um, I learned a lot just by observing them train and also how they how they kind of operate in their, in their regular life outside the gym. It's very interesting to 